hey friend welcome to my youtube channel and this is the new video in this video we will be discussing about azure update manager which is the new features microsoft has released for uh, uh, replacing uh, azure automation update management so let's go to the official notice of the microsoft documentation as you can see here uh, it's mentioned that uh, azure up automation update management uh, will be retired on 31st of august so uh, it will also uh, re release or retiring this uh, log analytics agent and microsoft monitoring agent so microsoft monitoring agent we normally use to connect our virtual machine with the log analytics uh, uh, workspace so it is called as log analytics agent or we can say the mma microsoft monitoring agent so to replace this one microsoft has, has released uh, azure update manager okay here is a few of the details we can uh, see uh, it not required any log analytics account or not any agent okay and it it is going to be retired on 31st of august it supports the SaaS services uh, this uh, update manager it did not require any any log analytics workspace as we discussed earlier uh, and also it supports windows and the linux server it supports uh, azure images azure servers and arc enable for non azure vms means the on premises vm so let's go to the configuration part so for the non azure vms it required a manual configuration which is called the on-premises server and for azure vms we can enable a policy and we can configure the azure update manager so let's go for the first one in this video we will be going further for configuring on on our on-premises server with our update manager and we'll do the assessment and uh, deploy the patches and all so let's go to the practical so i will be go ahead with this here is the documentation we can see here few of the guidance uh, uh, populated here for the pa patching uh, for the periodic uh, assessment and uh, and all you can review i will provide the link in the description you can check that one in meanwhile i going uh, going to create uh, the so this is the empty resource group i will go ahead and uh, this is my vm and this is my vm uh, i have created in my uh, one of the workstation for demonstration so i have connected with the rdp so this is the 2020 uh, 2020 22 and uh, this is the image uh, trail uh, trial version i am using currently so first of all i will go ahead first part uh, this is the resource group i will go ahead to uh, click on the create here i will be go ahead and search for azure arc so once you uh, search for that one so you will be get this uh, either you can here uh, search the azure arc as well azure arc here you also can find here once we uh, go to the azure arc we can go to the section azure infrastructure here in the uh, click on the machine and i will be go ahead and add and create click on that one uh, so as of now we we are uh, going to add a single server so we are going to create a script means to generate a script so here we need to define the resource group i will be and uh, where you want to uh, add the packages i mean so, so here i'm uh, checking for the central india okay and uh, this is our windows vm on the on premises that's why i'm using the windows only okay here is the connectivity type we can uh, we can choose accordingly if in your environment you are using any proxy you can select that one the private endpoint if you are using any private endpoint you can mention here okay 
I am proceeding with the public endpoint. So click on the next. Click on the next. I don't want any tagging here. So uh, here uh, some of the uh, sometimes uh, we got uh, stuck here uh, due to some discrepancy maybe. So I, I will go ahead and put the details again. So now you can see here uh, this uh, downloaded downloadable down, down uh, script got created. So we need to download that one. And once you go a little bit down, you can see here this script will do the following download the agent from the Microsoft download center. It will download the uh, agent. It will install the, the <coughs> sorry. It will install the agent on the server uh, and also create a arc enable server resource and associate it with this agent. So since our uh, this uh, agent got downloaded, I will go ahead and copy that one and place it to my on-premises server. So I copied that one. Only you need to uh, run that one with the uh, power cell administrator account so i am running with uh, running with the power cell so it will take a few minutes to complete that one so as you see here some of the messages are populating so i am enabling the execution policy now it's started installing the connected agent first of all it will be download that uh, so as you can see here it uh, fetch the uh, physical memory and fe uh, fetch this dotnet framework uh, version uh, power cell version and we'll check whether it's azure uh, vm or the on premises so now it started the downloading the agent from this microsoft download center and it is placing here in the temporary beta so this is called a my and uh, some dot msi msi installer will be downloaded so we'll have to wait for a few minutes so finally it uh, started authenticating so i'm getting some of the pop-up to login I will go ahead and do the sign in. So, authentication got completed. Uh, so, now we are getting some of the messages. Creation of the resources. Now it got connected to the Azure. So, let's close this one and uh, I will go ahead to the control panel and will verify what are the resources got installed. So here, uh, here we can see uh, Azure Connect Machine Agent got installed. Let us, let's go to the Azure portal and we will see the weather. So now, as you can see here, my workstation uh, means the on premises server is now connected is available on arc enable so, and it also have the status uh, connected so i will go ahead on that one and uh, view so here we can see uh, four pending updates so let me go ahead for that pending updates uh, either you can go to the updates and see here so here you can see uh, some of that uh, uh, missing patches are available one is called the security updates and uh, total is four so if you are not able to see uh, or if you want to do the uh, check uh, so you can check click on that check for updates it will start the doing the immediate uh, assessment so 
now we'll go ahead to the update manager okay azure Ma update manager either you can search here the azure update manager okay and i will go ahead to the machine so here you can see the machine number is one and the pending updates is also same so these are the updates you can see so i will go ahead to the updates and uh, what are the updates uh is uh, you you may include or exclude from here and in that reboot uh, needed you can see can request reboot it will require a reboot to the machine so i will select that one and schedule for the update okay and uh, here uh, i will keep a name uh, security update security update okay and here uh, by default we can i'm selecting to the central india and this is the i'm using the guest user okay and uh, if required the reboot and here we need to set to the timing so as of now it's uh, 9 3 pm hdrs i will go ahead with the uh, uh, 9 9 15 pm okay and the maintenance window i will be using two hours only and if you want to uh, means uh, the check the updates you can uh, repeat one day or in hours or a week or month as per your convenience if you want to add the uh, ending time of this maintenance window you can select that one and put the name so i will go ahead with this timing i will do the save and moving to the next dot, 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 dynamic scope 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 and uh, here i will do the addition i will select that uh, subscription and this is my uh, so so i will select that one move into the resources i will select this one and move to the updates here uh, you can either you can include the packages or exclude as per uh, the your convenient so uh, here is the including part of this kb article for windows and with linux and the, here the excluding part so if you want to do that you can click here and do the uh, include and the packages name so in my case i do not require any and include or exclude i will proceed further for the uh, so i will go ahead and create this maintenance configuration so it will create a maintenance configuration and a scope over there so as you can see this is the maintenance configuration we can see here check update and it is in pending state so wait for a few minutes to complete as i said we can check what are the patches got installed so we will go to that uh, server on from server and we will run the command to check uh, what are the hot fixes got installed on the date so i will run hot fix get hot fix so as you can see these are the Hot fixes got installed with that maintenance window maintenance configuration through the maintenance configuration so this is the way we can configure manually the azure update manager for our on-premises server and we can do the assessment and we'll do the scheduling patches so hope this video is really helpful to you so please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much